Hey, good morning. Welcome to I Am The Light. My name is Tasha and I'll be reading for the sign of Leo. Hey, Leo babies. If you are new here, welcome. And y'all already know if you are returning, welcome back, baby. Y'all come on in here. Let's get this reading done. Okay, Leo. So this is what we're doing. We are going into the spirit animal oracle for this week for your reading. We're going to do a one card pool just like we did last week. Then we're going to move into love and money and we're going to save the oracle this time for after the tarot. Okay, so we're going to go from the uh, one card pull spiritual message, go straight into the tarot, then I'll pull some messages from your person and then we'll go into money. Okay, now that being said, let's get it. Let's go. If y'all ready, I have already prayed. I have already saged and I am ready to go. So let's go ahead and jump right in and get your spiritual uh, message for this week. Spirit guides, ancestors, great divine creator, I thank you for this moment in time. I ask for clear, honest messages for Leo, Sun, Moon, and Venus rising. Clear, honest messages for Sun, Moon, and Venus rising for Leo. What is it, um, This what spiritual message do they most need to know at this time? I thank you so much. I pray. All right, y'all. Let's see what spirit got for you. Clear, honest messages. Let's see what they got. One more and that'll be it. Right off rip, y'all got the elephant spirit. You need to learn from the past. Number 25, which adds to a seven, which is the number of good luck. Now, if you learn from your past, <laughs> that's almost like spirit saying, if you if you learn the lesson, then the next time your luck should be better. If you have learned the lesson, let's go see what it's saying from the book. Okay, you got the elephant spirit, and it's I love elephants. Isn't that pretty? Isn't that beautiful? I love elephants. I mean, love elephants. Okay, let's see here. It says, although we often wish we could leave the past behind, the elephant spirit reminds us that memory matters. We must respect the wisdom of the elders who hand down to us traditions that they have shaped to express our connection to each other and respect for the community. Excuse me. What has come before informs what we are experiencing today. And we must never forget our legacy of strength and dignity. The elephant spirit appears with the message that we are to acknowledge that which came before and learn from it. All of us are memory based creatures. And we must revisit the past to understand where we are and where we are going. The stories of the events you experience, the stories in our collective memory, and the stories of relationships you have had can all be told many ways. What story will you tell? Elephant Spirit is here to encourage you to make it one that stirs in you the sense of power and dignity. For you have honored yourself by choosing to learn from your past. Spirit rejoices at your willingness to learn and to grow. Now, there is a protection message here. The first one was the oracle message. So this is the protection message. Are you feeling uncomfortable with tradition, custom, or familiar behavior that no longer fits who you are? Do you wish the past could be erased so it can no longer cause you a moment's pain? A moment of pain. Elephant Spirit is here to encourage you to write a different story and to alter the traditions in a way that acknowledges that we all evolve for transformation is in our nature. The elephant spirit calls you to not be selective in your memory because ignoring the good or the bad will prevent you from growing your wisdom and strength. Build on the best of the past, learn from the worst and walk into the future with dignity accompanied by the elephant spirit who remembers the truth and honors your strength and wisdom. So look here, 
you can honor the past by honoring your elders that walked before you and passing on those traditions and being a better person in the community because you learned from the past. Or you could take this message as some of y'all wish y'all could go back and erase some things that has happened. You might wish that you could redo some things, but we can't go back. The only thing you can do is evolve. And that is what they're saying here. So listen, if you take the past, learn from it and grow, spirit will rejoice with you. But just know that um, don't ignore the good or the bad because it prevents you from growing in wisdom and strength. So you got to take the good, the bad and the ugly from the past. And you need to use that to build the uh, to build on the best of the past and learn from the worst and walk in the future with dignity. So you got to take it all. You got to take all of it. Whether you was good, bad, ugly, indifferent, you got to learn from it all. And in learning from it all, that's how things are going to get better. You can't, you have to. That's just the way it is. So sorry if that ain't what you want to hear, but you can't erase it. What's done is done. So if you hurt somebody or somebody hurt you, they can't go back and erase it. So eventually you're just going to have to get over it. The only thing you can do is evolve. You can change the future, but you can't change the past, baby. You can change your present and change your future, but you cannot change the past. So you got to learn to forgive yourself. And now you have good luck with that if you've learned from it. Remember I said that good luck, that seven, because this was number 25. 25 could be significant or seven could be significant because two plus five equals seven. You know what I'm saying? So the luck comes in if you learn the lesson and you evolve to something better. You took the good, the bad, the ugly and turned it into something. You know what I'm saying? Like, for instance, I remember I had a friend. Her father was very abusive to her mother. Um, this was from way back when, a friend of mine. And she watched how her mother navigated the relationship with her father. So when she got married, she took what happened with her mother and learned something from it. So that her and her marriage was solid. Her and her husband did not have one where he was putting her hands on her and she was sweeping it under the rug. None of that. It was like she took her mother's experience and transformed it and evolved into something better and vice versa. There's lots of things that can happen. Some things you might have to change and evolve from that you have done currently in your life. Can you evolve and become a better person? Or are you going to let that hinder you? Are you going to tell yourself a, narr a negative narrative that you can't change or are you going to stay low vibrational and not make the changes that are necessary instead of evolving and showing that you've learned from it? Let me give you a, a good example. I, I, I tell people this all the time. If you watch my channel, what you think matters, you know, perception is everything. Perspective is everything. How you see this thing matters. How you see yourself matters. What you think matters. Because if you don't see yourself as, if you see yourself as I'm always going to be a no good nobody, the universe is always going to say, okay, and you're going to keep having experiences where you are no good nobody. But if you want to see yourself as, okay, spirit, I want to be a better person. And I say spirit because over here, listen, if you ain't got no faith, you on the wrong damn channel. I'm going to be honest with you. I, I'm not no Christian per se, but I do believe in God. Now I have evolved to be bigger than Christianity, bigger than a lot of stuff in my mind. I am accepting of all walks of life and all religions and all different ways. I see God's wisdom in so many areas that I'm willing to be open to it all. Now, However, I have learned some things. I have gotten myself into some things <laughs> because I am so open and I have learned the good, the bad and the ugly, but I have evolved to become what I am now. But th that's never no mind. Th don't pay that no mind. What I'm trying to say, though, overall is. Can you take these experiences and evolve to be a better person? Because that's what it all boils down to. You know what I'm saying? What you think matters. I'm telling y'all, y'all got to get this right. Once you get your mindset right and you build this to be strong, can't nobody penetrate this. Once you get, but it requires you going to your spiritual team. Now, some of y'all try to do a lot of stuff on your own. And this is why I say over here, you got to have some faith to be on my channel. And if you ain't got no faith, you watch me long enough, you're going to develop faith. Because I have had so many experiences. I am a walking testimony. Their faith works. 
It does. I have a relationship with the most high creator. Now, some people say, well, I don't believe in God. Well, don't believe in God if you want to, but you're missing out on something really great. I feel like the great divine creator is real. Somebody had to put all this stuff together, right? I honor the one who made every other angel, every spirit. I honor the great one, the creator, the alpha, the omega, the author and the finisher of my faith. I honor that. Then I have a whole spiritual team. I work with angels. I work with other spirits. I work with a lot of different things because I'm open to it. Not everybody is. But first, I give honor and respect to the one who made it all. Then I work with my spiritual team. And then they come in and they help me to make these changes. And that's all I'm telling you, Leo. If you want to learn from your past and you want to evolve, sometimes it requires going outside yourself because sometimes you are not equipped to make those changes on your own or you're repeating the same patterns over and over and over again and you're on a like a continuous loop it's like you can't get off so that's why you go to the most high that's why you go to your spiritual team and then they come in and they start helping you to make these changes so that you do learn evolve and become a better person that's all i'm trying to say all right y'all let's move on we're gonna move on to love enough of that we're going to go back to the This Might Hurt Tarot. I like it. My spirit team told me to use it again this week. So this is what we're using. Okay. Now, I have been listening to songs and meditating on the sign. I asked my spirit team to lead me to certain songs that will resonate with the reading for each individual sign this week. And it has been interesting. I have found songs that I have never heard before. I've heard some songs that I have heard before. Now, the song that I'm going to tell y'all, I'm not telling y'all just yet. I want to see if it comes up in the reading to see if this song, I just it's just something I like to do to see if my team, they always be right. I really could tell y'all now. It always ties in, but I'm curious as to see how y'all's carol beat goes. Before I tell you the song that they gave me, 1212 just showed up on the camera. That is an angel number. Y'all look it up. If I Listen, sometimes when I go back and watch it, if I hear myself say an angel number, I will put it down in the box, uh, in the comment section. But sometimes I get so busy. Y'all, I'm like one of the hardest working, busiest per people a person could ever know. <laughs> I don't always have time to be. Once I cut this thing off, I'm... Tasha be moving, honey. <laughs> Tasha is moving, 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 moving. I have a thousand things on my list and th people to see and things to do and I don't sit still. I don't. I have to not be, you know. You know, I see, well, I might sit still. Even when I don't feel good, I still be moving. But that's me. <laughs> not everybody has that. That get up and go. All right, y'all, let's get it. Five card spirit. What is it that you got for Leo and their person? What's going on between Leo and their romantic interest or person at this time? Five cards, please. And thank you. What is going on with Leo and their person? Oh, they gave me six cards. Let's see him. Ooh. Hmm. All right, y'all Y'all starting off with the nine of swords. Upright. Seven of pentacles, reverse. Eight of swords, reverse. Seven of wands, upright. The hangman, upright. And the magician in reverse. Hmm. Somebody is protecting themselves and they have released, they are, they, they, somebody has released themselves and they are de definitely guarding themselves at this time. And like somebody quickly let go of this connection that you have here. Okay. With the seven of wands, that's how I know somebody is protecting themselves. Somebody is heavily protected themselves. It's like, you come for me, you can get it. 
You see how he got his bow and arrow? It's like he sees all the arrows coming for him, but it's like, you coming for me? He got a face like anybody can get it. Anybody can get it. This man is heavily pr pr protecting himself from all the things that are coming at him. And the reason why he's protecting himself is because he had to quickly let go of a situation. Now, some of y'all may have let go of love because I am talking about you and your person. And it's so quick, because somebody has guarded themselves, they got their guard up and they quickly let go of this situation. It has stressed somebody out. Somebody is devastated. Like, oh my God, Leo that left. Leo, y'all that y'all guarding yourselves. Y'all quickly let go of a situation and it's got somebody stressed the hell out. Real bad. They crying, they up at night, they're thinking. If they ain't crying, they definitely up in their head. Somebody's going through almost like a dark night of the soul type thing, thinking about you, Leo. Okay, then you got the hangman here. <laughs> with the magician reverse so somebody is trying to change their perspective on why they didn't meet their goal why you're guarded they just trying to come up with some ideas of what's going on now don't get me wrong this magician is in reverse so somebody could be trying to think of a not so good plan it could be a little bit on the manipulative side but i'm going to clarify to see to see if they're thinking if it's just that they're trying to come up with a different perspective because things didn't go their way the relationship to meet their goals or are they on some funny business we're gonna see so the first thing i want to clarify is uh let's talk about that nine of swords clarify the nine of swords let's see why they like what about this has them so stressed clarify that nine of swords Somebody is stressed out because you have released yourself and you have transformed, Leo. Now, I'm going to tell y'all the song because I can see that it is going to come out here. Okay, so y'all got the two of cups with the five of swords and the devil. The two of cups. Somebody is upset and stressed out because they love you. This is somebody that you may have been in a relationship with, you had a relationship with, and all they keep thinking about is how they want to heal this. You walked away, you released them, Leo, and somebody just wants you to come back and heal. Please, Leo, come back and heal this. But, but, there's a big old but, this person has vices. There's either sexual addictions, drug addictions, alcohol addictions, or just toxic behaviors, and they know that they want you to come back. But this devil, I got to cover her up because they got boobies. That's a lady. It's like a half woman, half demonic devil thing here. But down here, all these people down here, there's there's uh, fighting. These two are fighting. There's this sex addiction. There's alcohol addiction. There's just people who are just, you know, running towards low vibrating things. And they're caught up in it and they, and they know that. But they want you to come back and it's stressing them out because they have all these problems and you not paying them no t attention because they got all these vices, okay? And you've released yourself, Leo. You just like, mm-mm, mm-mm. So let's look, let's look at the, we're going to do the hangman, then we'll do the magician. Clarify the hangman spirit. Why is the hangman here? Because I see here, somebody is trying to change your perspective. Let's see what they're trying to change their perspective on. Spirit, why are they trying to change their perspective with the hangman? Please and thank you. They're trying to change their perspective because they see you, Leo, as a person with this king of pentacles is somebody who's in a position of power as a king of pentacles honey you are making money moves you out here you didn't left and you make money moves and you growing a business leo and somebody sees that you are out here doing a damn thing and now you have completely closed off they see you so it's like damn 
we are out here becoming a king of God dang on pentacles. They didn't left. They the king of pentacles. They had closed themselves off. They not giving me an ounce. No matter what I offer. If I call, they ain't looking. Notice this girl is sitting behind this tree, right? Her, her head ain't turning towards this cup that's being offered. She, in fact, you know what I like about this particular four of cups? All the other ones, they focused on the cups that have spilled. This girl, her cups ain't spilled. Them cups, the rest of the cups ain't spilled. She's not focusing on those cups. She is actually meditating and focusing on what is in front of her, which apparently <laughs> is, is where she's going and where her money is going. She ain't worried about no damn cups. She don't care about the three that's standing, and she sure as hell ain't worrying about that cup, Leo, that's coming from whoever this is that's trying to get your attention. <laughs> you ain't worrying about them at all. It's looking like you're not worrying about them. And some of y'all could be dealing with a Capricorn with that devil card. Or you could be dealing with a, a, a air sign. You got fire, air, earth. Y'all got all the signs. Even though it's like not a lot of court cards out here per se. But y'all have all the signs are, are, are out here. But Capricorn is stronger because the devil is out here. Okay. And, and the king of pentacles. So that's like double Capricorn or, or it could be just any earth sign. Okay, but yeah, this person is not worrying about none of the cups standing. She's not worrying about any of the cups offered. This person is going towards uh, wealth. Wealth and running a business and working. They're not worrying about that. And that is the message that, so this person is trying to gain perspective on you know, how can they get this person's attention? How can I talk to them? How can I communicate? How can I communicate with Leo if Leo is out here focusing on a coin? They're not focusing on me. So this is the perspective that they have. It's like, okay, Leo is out here. They're not talking to me. They have guarded against me. They have quickly released this relationship because I have touched this one. And they out here doing a damn thing. Like, how could I even get them to talk to me? So let's clarify this magician. Because I told y'all I wanted to see if this magician was about to write. Now, the song that I got for y'all was I don't want to be that song X by is it Kiana Lede is that how you pronounce the last name L-E-D-E -E with an apostrophe on E I don't want to be a X <laughs> can we still hang out um get down and, and do something can we still hang out I don't because I still love you I still love you I don't have to be in love with you to love you I don't want to be an ex. Can we still hang out? I don't, uh, uh, I want to send you a text. Can you send me a text when you're stressed out? When you, to let me know what you're going through. Whoever this is, they don't want to be an ex. Not the type of ex that you don't talk to. They still want to hang out. They still want you to text them when you're stressed out. They want to know what's going on with you. They want to still get down. And if, even in the song, I looked at the lyrics. She said, she said something about, can we still get down and get wild? That sounds like a friends with benefits to me. Whatever. But this person don't want to be an ex. They want to know, can you get down to still let them love you? You know, they ain't got to be in love with you, but they want to be a part of your life. They do not want to be an ex. That was the song that I got for you. They don't want to be an ex. And it's looking like they over here wondering how the hell to get you to come back because they don't they don't want you to be an egg clarify the magician let's see if this is just manipulation or they just didn't reach their goal clarify the magician reverse spirit somebody sabotaged this so they was on some bull crap so yeah, this magician, remember I said I needed to know if they just said that they didn't meet their goal or was they on some funny business? They was on some funny business. Somebody self-sabotaged this relationship. It never got off the ground and that's why there was a permanent ending with the three of wands in reverse, the page of wands in reverse and the ace of swords in reverse. Somebody did not, did not come at you correctly. Leo. That's why they was on some funny business and you saw it and you put an end to it. That's why this shit never got off the ground. They sabotaged it. Somebody was either coming in, talking hella crazy. And if they wasn't talking crazy, there was lies. 
Some here wasn't right. And that's why there is a, this is my real death card because ain't no sun on this card. Ain't no sun. So it's like, it, once it was over, it was over. After the love was gone, what used to be right is now wrong. <laughs> and it was, it was looking like, hey, somebody sabotaged. Now, why did they sabotage the connection? Let's just see. Let's just see. Spirit, why did they sabotage this with the three of wands? Why did this person sabotage this connection with the three of wands in reverse? Why did this person sabotage with Leo? It's strongly indicating that Leo, you got the moon with the two of swords upright. The Queen of Wands in reverse and the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Which you could not see. Did this person have a choice? Why did I open up this can of worms? I should not have opened up this can of worms. Should not. Okay, there is a stalemate here. Or it could be that this person had a choice because the two of swords is upright. So this could be that they have a choice and they have to try to decide a choice between the two or it could mean a stalemate. Okay? Because there's two queens out here and they're both in reverse. Now, one could be a queen of pentacles which is an earth sign or one could be a fire sign with the uh, queen of wands. Let me first see if these queens are the same. Are the queens the same person spirit? The queen of wands and the queen of pentacles, are they the same person? No. Mm. So somebody had a choice between two. A fire sign and an earth sign. And that's what that's how they sabotage because they had somebody on the side. Mm. And because they had to make a choice, they had to choose who they was gonna work with. So Leo, you did not know that your person had somebody else on the side that they that they was trying to make a choice between the two of y'all. Yeah. And they was trying to figure out which one of y'all was gonna be the most abundant. And that's the one that they wanted to work with, with that empress. So this person was trying to figure out who to choose based on the work and the amount of abundance that this person has, who can birth me the most, who will benefit me the most, who has the most money, who's going to help me to grow the best. Yes, because if this person was in the, out in the cold, they wanted to come out of the cold. They wanted to birth money and opportunity. So this person was trying to make a choice on who they felt like, Leo, between you. They thought that they had a choice between you and somebody else. Okay, you will be the fire sign, Leo, because you are the queen of wands. So they're trying up here trying to decide, Leo, if they're trying to choose between you and another earth sign, right? Because y'all are fire. So it's like they're trying to decide, is Leo going to be the one who I can work with that's going to help me to grow the most and come out of the cold and have opportunities and good luck with? They're trying to decide. So somebody sab sabotaged because clearly they thought that it was the other person, Leo, and not you. So they sabotaged the connection and went towards someone else. So now the truth comes out. <laughs> and now they're singing they don't want to be an ex. I don't want to be an ex. <laughs> Can we still hang out? <laughs> hell no. Leo said hell no. Let me see. Let me get six more cards here. What else you got for Leos out here? What's going on between them and a person? Woo, this person was something else, Leo. Mm -mm. Oh, Leo, Leo, Leo. Ooh, wee! <laughs> Leo, what the hell? What the hell? Oh, Leo, let me see something. Y'all, let me see something. What was y'all reading on last week? This is crazy. Leo, they're just not ready to do what it takes to be with you. They're ruled by their desires. So last week, we found out that your person had a third party. And guess what just popped out? Third parties, honey. Somebody created a lot of chaos and conflict because they had a lot of options. They didn't want to end. Not none of them options. In fact, they was the Knight of Wands. This person was going towards all these options like they had no problems. This person was so sexually 
promiscuous. They was out here wanting attention from all of the options. They was just impulsive with their behavior. They was sexually going after. They was out here just being sexually promiscuous. They had a lot of options. And, and in doing this, they didn't want to put it, they didn't put it, want to put a final nail in the coffin to end these options. They went out here. In fact, they might have had more options just than you and this other person. Now, I said they were trying to make a choice between you and someone else, Leo, but they also looked like they had more than just y'all two. Now, y'all might have been the main two, but they had other options on the table. This person was promiscuous, very sexually promiscuous. They do attention uh, gaining um, antics with this. This is somebody who has uncontrolled sexual desires. They're very sexually promiscuous. And there it is. Sexually promiscuous. And all that promiscuous, uh, being promiscuous creates chaos and conflict if you can't put an end to it with that four swords. And it did. It created a lot of chaos and conflict because they could not control their desires, which is now why somebody is stressed the hell out. All these options is creating problems. Look at this. Look at all them swords. Look at all these options. That's problems. Somebody, and it went to it went to shit so quick with this with the set with the seven of pentacles and the five of wands. This little game that this person thought that they was getting away with, Leo, your your cross watcher or your person, Leo. All these options quickly turn to shit. It did. They out here trying to be slick. It quickly turned to shit. And you, Leo, decided, oh, hell no. I'm going to put the final nail in the coffin. I'm in, I'm freeing myself from this shit. Bye. Leo said, oh, no, nah, we ain't doing this. <laughs> Leo said, what? Options, what? Oh, no. Nah. Mm -mm. Bye, boo. Mm -mm. I, I'm cool. Bye. And you went over here and you started looking like you was, hey, Leo, you was making your coins. So now your guard is up because you see that this person is sexually promiscuous. You don't want to be involved with that. One, that's not safe. It's not safe. So you are definitely putting a guard up with yourself because you're like, oh, hell no. You out here, you out here hoeing around. Even if you're a man, you telling this female, you out here hoeing around, you messing with other, you messing with other men. Even in, in male, and, and if it's women, Oh no, nah, man! You 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 got all these women. You y'all telling this person no? You got other options. You out here sleeping with all these other people? Hell no! Nah, I'm not about to deal with you. And you putting some you put some space up, and it's like the look on your face is like, come over here if you want to. Everybody can get it. I'm not playing with you. Stay away from me. Your guard is up. You telling this person to stay away. So now that this person has lied to you and created all this unbalance and now they might even be going through some sort of karmic justice because the justice card is in reverse. They might be going through karma. This is why it's in reverse. Karmic justice for all the lies and the bullshit that they didn't told and all the chaos and the conflict that they have created. The sword is upside is down. That means that there was lies being told. Things in their life is very out of balance. The relationship between you and this person, Leo, is out of balance. And like I said, they might be going through some sort of karmic justice, which is 3313 just showed up. That's an angel number, 3313. So now they're sitting back and they're trying to think of ways to come back towards you because everything has been shot to shit. Imagine trying to be a player and getting away with something and then you get caught and now all your lies... He'll caught up to you. All everything's just turning to shit. And that's exactly what happened. Now we know that they was being manipulative because I looked it up. They sabotaged it. They was trying to make a choice between two. Now out of all the other options that they had, it was two of y'all that they liked the most. Which one of y'all is going to grow me the most money? Which one is going to be the better option for me? Which one can I have the best growth with that we've seen it that's why they sabotage the relationship but like i said things are hella 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 out of balance temperance reverse that's your sagittarius it's more fire out here on the table so somebody is upset because they sabotage this 
Things are grossly out of balance. They, they were trying to be manipulative and then they got it caught up to them. So somebody's upset because now they're going through karma, possibly. Things are completely out of balance. All their lies are catching up to them. And now they got me sitting up here channeling, I don't want to be a ex. <laughs> Can we still hang out? Get <laughs> that whole thing. They don't want to. They don't, they want to, they don't want to be an ex. They want to know, can you still text and call? Can we still get wild? They want to, they don't want to be an ex. Shabu. People is crazy. All they want to do is, they're like, dang. So now it's like, now they see, it's like now they're looking at things. They're looking at these options that they had. Now they're looking at the whole situation differently. It's like now they see something different now, Leo. The veil has, <laughs> veil has fallen from their eyes. And I don't know if you want to call it a come to Jesus moment, but it's like now, look, moon reverse, two of swords reverse. Like now I see the chaos and the conflict that I have created and me going towards all these options. And now I have fucked up my own ten of cups because whoever this was, they enjoyed doing this. Y'all, my throat's getting dry. Excuse me. They enjoyed, this was their Ten of Cups. This made them happy to go after all these options. People who are players or are serial cheaters, they do it because they like it. It's some part of this that brings them ultimate happiness. That's why they go out here and they, in the community, doing this, this, this player shit. It made them happy. But now it's like, fuck, Leo, then, I done fucked up. Leo then put a final nail in the coffin and freed themselves. And now this situation that seemed like it made me happy is now just starting to look like, oh my God, what have I done? <laughs> what have I done? So now they're seeing that you are guarding yourself because not only it's like, dang, this person sees me as toxic. This person sees me as sexually promiscuous. This person sees that I'm out here. I got vices. This person is guarding themselves against me because I look like, I'm a, for lack of a better word, Leo, it's looking like you protecting yourself because this person looks like they ain't shit. They're a cheater. They got vices. They got drug, alcohol, sexual addictions. And it's like, ugh, I don't want nothing to do with you. Uh-uh, uh-uh, uh-uh. Leo like, mm-mm, down somewhere. Mm-mm. 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 Like they stink. <laughs> Leo, you treat them like they stink. Like you stay away from me. You gonna give me a disease. You got problems. I don't want shit to do with you. Leo is like, no. Leo has left the building. No, 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 no. Absolutely not. So Leo is over here using y'all over here. <laughs> Leo is over here, you know, in the high priestess. You know, this person is experiencing a lot of imbalance because they didn't listen to their intuition. But Leo must have been listening to their intuition because Leo is going after the Ten of Pentacles. But this person is mad at themselves now, Leo, because now they see how they have manipulated on some manipulative bullshit, trying to make a choice between two. Now things are out of balance and they messed up the Ten of Pentacles. They could have had the Ten of Pentacles. So maybe they didn't see you, Leo, as the person that they could have the Ten of Pentacles with. And they some, somehow self-sabotage this whole thing. It's like, not only now do you know they have vices and addictions that they can't get rid of. Some of y'all might not. Okay, sorry about that, Leo. <clears throat> Even though I don't have any thing on my phone to mess with the storage, if I don't cut the phone off and cut it back on, it's like it's still reading like I have old videos on there. So anyway, as I was saying is, this person <laughs> was not expecting you to find out about all these options they wasn't expecting you to ever know leos you know sometimes people just think that they they slick it's like i have a secret life and you're never going to find out well, maybe they didn't know leo that you was intuitive and that you was gonna pick up on their bull crap at some point but clearly they didn't think that so y'all let's let's continue spirit give me some more cards what else does leo need to know 
So yeah, Leo, it was like you didn't you you once you come to see, you took some time to see that this person wasn't it. This person wasn't it. It was like, okay, they're out here giving their seed to all these options or and that sounds gross almost like it's a man spreading his seed around but yeah or this person's making all these offers to all these other options once you've seen that it might have stressed you out a little bit leo but you decided that like hey okay i see what it is this person is connected to a lot of options a king of wands is your casanovas honey and Casanova, you and Casanova ain't ever been friends with some of y'all. So a King of Wands, even though that is a, a, a fire sign energy, Leo, and y'all are definitely fire signs, this person, though, is embodying a King of Wands. So in other words, this person is out here. They got a lot. They get a lot of attention. They're very charismatic. They're either alpha males or alpha females. This is somebody who looks good, smells good. They talk a good game. I Listen, I don't know what other readers feel like, but to me, wand energy are your motivators. That means they got a good mouthpiece. They can speak life into anything. And they, and especially a king of wands, a king of wands is so smooth with their stuff that they will get you to do all the work for them. They can flip that shit around. And before you know it, you'll be like, oh man, that's a good idea. I, I'll do it for you. And you doing all the damn work. But this person who was in this King of Wands energy, they also go look for the next best thing. And just like a Knight of Wands, they're sexy. Everybody wants them. But they had all these options that was creating all this competition for you, Leo. It was creating chaos, conflict, and competition by having all these options. And so it was like, once you found out about it, it was like, oh, hell no. And you quickly let go of this person because they were in that king of wands energy it's like you're talking a good game you're out here trying to be a player you're trying to look for the next best thing no i'm not going to be a part of this because one these vices one can hurt me this is like not good for my health you could bring me back an std you could I, I could go broke dealing with you like you just bad news that's why i was like ew it's like they almost got a, a, a um a spiritual stench on them and it's like, oh, no, nah, I'm cool off you. Hell no. Nah. <laughs> Hell no. Nah. And it was like, Leo, it was like once you you quit rushing towards this person and you started taking a step back and reexamining. See, to me, this is the uh, Knight of Swords. The Knight of Swords, instead of rushing towards somebody, when he's in reverse, it's like, hold on. Let me, let, wait, 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 wait. Let me look at this. It's almost like being in a hangman to me. It's like, hold on. Let me look at this. You did what? Oh, no, uh-uh, no, 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 no. On another deck that I have, the four swords is like you put the final nail in the coffin, baby. You, some of the stuff that they did when you found out about these options, I have several cards that are, are four different swords are popping up in my head. I got one where it looks like the person's on the bed going, oh my God, oh my God. Like it made, it made you sick to your stomach when you found out about how many people that this person was dealing with. Not just the fact that they was cheating on you with this one person, but when you found out about all the other options, it made some of y'all sick to y'all stomach. And y'all sat down and got to thinking about it. That's why I said it's almost like they got a stench on them. Like, ugh, hell no. And some of them might have picked up STDs. Now, I didn't pick up on it here, but I do know in go some readings back when I was using the uh, what's the tea? Honey, a lot of y'all was getting STDs in the West the T. In an STD, they might have got an STD that they can't get rid of, like herpes or something like that. <laughs> Not every, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. So it's like you said some of this stuff, when you found out what this person was really into, it made you sick to your stomach. Oh, you want to try to choose between me and somebody else on top of me finding out that you got all these options? And you in the devil energy, you got vices, you out here smoking, drinking, partying it up. You are just running after the flesh like you ain't got no damn tomorrow. Ew, ew. For my own safety, bye, I'm cool off of you. Leo said, mm-mm, bye, I'm cool. I'm cool off of you. I'm going to protect myself 
from you because you're out here one you ain't really offering much anyway you coming at me like a page so that means you're not coming at me with a full offer like a king you coming at me like a child with a childish ass offer because you out here spreading your seed to every and anybody so hell to the motherfucking now so then leo got into their queen of swords energy and if y'all been watching me if y'all watched my collective this week and i said it yesterday on one of the readings and i'm gonna say it again the queen of swords reminds me of judge judy judge judy is a no-nonsense person when she gets to looking at the who what when why and how she started cutting shit out she ain't got to be violent she ain't got to cut you out it's just like she becomes very impartial a queen of swords becomes impartial they start looking at the facts and even over here, if you look at this girl, it's like, come on, let me look at, come here, come here. Let me look at what you got going on. And her sword of truth is up. And then she starts cutting through the facts. And the fact of the matter is this person was dealing with more than one person. They have drug, alcohol, gambling, or sexual addictions. They might have an STD. They're out here trying to choose between you and somebody else. And they got a whole handful of other options in the background. And you decided, oh no. I'm about to make a head over heart decision. You treat me, you coming at me like a child, like you ain't got much to offer. And it's because you're spreading yourself thin. On top of you got toxicities. So it's drugs, alcohol, toxicities, um, could be sexual transmitted diseases, gambling addictions. They got all kinds of addictions. And they're not offering you very much. Why the hell would Leo want to stay in anything like that? It was like you start looking at it, it was like, oh, no, nah, I'm cool. And you decided once you made your ruling, this is going to keep me out of balance. I'm going to drop this. Leo, you let go. Drop. I'm done. I'm done. I'm leaving this person out in the cold. Out in the cold. This, this connection was one-sided anyway with the Page of Cups. They're not emotionally available anyway because you out here giving to all these other people and now this person got me sitting up here challenging uh 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 um channeling that they don't want to be an ex can we still hang out can you still send a text i want to know how you doing what the hell why go see how the, all these options is doing is what leo's looking like why nick you got a stitch on you <laughs> you got a stitch on you it's called you can't do right I don't want none. <laughs> this person wants to work in a partnership with you, but I'm telling you, Leo is not looking cross watcher as you as somebody that is worthy of investing in. They felt like the connection was one sided. They're not looking at you as somebody that they can grow pinnacles with. They're looking at you as somebody that they don't need to be paying not an ounce of attention with the six of wands reverse. Things with you are completely out of control completely out of control dealing with you and they have zero confidence that this is even something that they should get off the ground they don't give a damn about y'all used to be friends being cool being you coming in and trying to be nice hell no <laughs> leo got they wall up you stay your ass over there and leo gonna stay their ass over here is how leo is looking at it damn this person is cold with it. They, ain't, they don't give a damn about no love that you got for them. Cross watcher. They don't. This is one of them situations where somebody went and did too much. And thought that they was getting away with it. Anytime somebody gets in a minute. Now, the seven of swords ain't out here. But this is just as bad. Just as bad because it's a manipulation. So when people think that they're getting away with something, sometimes you cross the line of no return. And then when you think that somebody don't know what is going on and you think that they are not able to make a head over heart decision and then they get into that Judge Judy mode and it's like, because I love Judge Judy. Honey, when she gets to the breaking stuff down, it's like no nonsense. Say what? Who, what, when, how? Hell no. Nah. That's how Leo did. Hell to the motherfucking now. Get out of my face. It's like you got a stench on you. And this person don't want to be nowhere around you. They got a wall up. They're protecting themselves around you. And I'm sorry if that hurts the crosswatcher's feelings. But when you go and you do manipulative stuff like this, and you thinking you getting away with it, and then you sit up here, you hiding that you got another person that you trying to compare Leo to. And Leo is the motherfucking star. They the sun card. They are the strength card. The Leo is the king of the jungle. They always care. 
We all looking like who could be better than me? Are you crazy? I am the, they are the sun. A Leo is already out the gate coming out the brightest, <laughs> shining bright. They are the sun card in tarot. And the strength card. They're strong, courageous, shining bright like a diamond. 1111 just popped up. Y'all done had a lot of angel numbers. Yeah, this person's not giving. This is not their wish fulfillment. They're not giving anything else to this anymore. This person is not going to come back, cross watch you. They have zero hope with the star reverse, the five of swords reverse, the nine of cups reverse, and the six of pentacles. This person is not going to... They're not giving to this. They do not see you as wish fulfillment. They are not going to fix this with you. They are not. They have zero hope that this is something that they should even get up off the ground, period. You sabotage it. It's over. You were manipulative. Here it comes. Here go that seven of swords. I told you one out here. And here this person comes after they done been a manipulative ass. And they want to try to make up with Leo. Now they don't want to be an ex. But it's looking like Leo said, bye boo. And they not looking back. They're not looking back. It was like somebody did too much. They thought they was getting, see the seven of swords reverse only comes out when the person realizes, oh, I got caught. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I did do that. I did, I did. I'm sorry. I'm sorry that y'all tried to look like I was trying to get away with something. And uh, I see you saw me. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Leo. Sorry, sorry, sorry. And Leo's like, I don't give a damn about your sorry. <laughs> I don't give a damn about your sorry. Leo is not, mm-mm, mm-mm. Leo went after new, they, they, they not. They healed, they're putting an end to this relationship with you. They're putting an end to the sex with you for sure. Death with the Ace of Wands, they're not gonna have sex with you anymore, period. They've healed, they've healed. This connection could have, it, it might have had promise. At some point in time, with the Ace of Pentacles and the Hair of Fine and the Sun card, at some point, they go, Leo, showing up in their own reading. Leo is out here going to be happy, honey. Happy as shit. <laughs> Leo is happy. Leo ain't trying to come back to you. They healed. They're not coming back, honey. You can see and have me channel all you want to. Can we still hang out? We ain't got to be in love. See, that sounds like you even still trying to keep, you know what's so fucked up about that song? It's like you're still trying to keep somebody as a friends with benefits and keep them in a third party situation. No, there. can we still hang out? Can we still get down and have like, it's a, I'm gonna I'm push pull the damn lyrics because when I read it, I was like, what? Hold on, y'all. Give me two seconds. I'm gonna pull it and then we're gonna go see what this person wants. Here's, a, here's what it says. It says, I don't want to be your ex. We were, way, we were way too good at being friends. Can we hang out on the low and get wild? What does that sound like to y'all? Friends with benefits. That's somebody who's still trying to be slick. I don't want to be, uh, uh, I, I don't want to be your ex. I don't want to be your ex. Hit your girl up with a text when you're alone and feeling stressed. I ain't got to be in love with you to love you. I don't want to uh, be your ex, so don't treat me like an ex. They don't want to be an ex. They don't want to be treated like an ex, but they want to treat you like you still a motherfucking option. Cross Watcher, have you been dropped on your head? Have you lost your damn marbles? You dealing with a king? A Leo is a king of the damn jungle. They are the lion energy. Are you kidding me? How could you even think that you're going to get away with somebody who root? What? What? Foolishness. <laughs> Foolishness. And then they had a nerd to say, this is what they say. Don't act like I don't care for you because you know I, I'll, I will always be there for you. Don't act like I don't care for you. I don't want to be your ex. We were way too good at being friends. We can still hang out on, and, and, on the low and get wild. Disrespectful. This is why Leo is not dealing with you. You're disrespectful. And I don't blame them. Good for you, Leo. Good for you. Let's get some hidden truths from this crazy. What does this person want to say to Leo? Not that it even matters. I don't even know why Spirit told me to pull these. Because it's like once we start breaking it down and we start to see how y'all are evolving and growing 
and changing and your minds are getting better it's starting to look like why do you why do we even care what the ex is saying why do we even care what the, your old person or this past person is saying because it's looking like you are so far past it it don't even matter what they have to say but we're gonna pull it because this is the card this this is the oracle that spirit told me to pull so they want to say what they want to say let's see what this person wants to say cross watching what do you got to say to leo what does this leo's person want to say to leo foolishness I can't do this I have too much to lose I bet you do but you weren't thinking like that when you was thinking about all them damn options do I still have a chance told you there won't be no ex honey I admire you what else does this person want to say to Leo? I don't know what comes next. I am recovering. <laughs> oh, they're asking. I can't be with you. I can't be with you, Leo. Ooh, this one fell way up under here. Excuse me, y'all. I need security. Security. That means this person needs some money, honey. Security has to do with their root chakra. You know what I'm saying? That's your ground and stability. Your, you know what I'm saying? Stability has to do with the root, root chakra. So this person might need security and needing to feel secure. And they might also need some money. I want to make amends. I bet they do. I can feel the sexual tension. Um, Maybe with them third parties because Leo has been the, left the building. Will you ever make things right? Leo ain't the person that got to make things right. Crosswatcher It's looking like you the one who needs to make things right. I want... I don't want to know. I can't get enough of you. You broke my heart. I watch your social media. Leo, they're watching you on social media. I know you don't feel the same. You think? Your intellect arouses me. I'm not financially stable. Didn't I just say something about stability and security? I'm in a committed relationship. So this person, Leo, clearly went towards the other person that they thought was better than you. But they're still not financially stable. They're watching you on social media. They feel like they have so much to lose. They kept you in third party situations. They might actually be running around here with STDs from doing whatever the hell they was doing. And they still got vices. Leo, you did the best thing, honey. You truly are. <laughs> y'all truly are the kings and queens of the jungle. Honey, y'all are smart. Y'all are intelligent. Y'all know how to make moves. And can't nobody blame you when you make your ruling. You called this shot, honey. Leo's called it. Called it. Leo called it. This was like, hell no, let me leave the building. You have fun with that, boo-boo. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Bye, boo. Have fun with that. Whatever you got yourself into, you have added. Leo has gone. Like, who puts a Leo in competition? Wrong answer. Wrong answer. <laughs> Not saying all Leos are good, because, you know, we got light and dark on every sign. But the one that we talking about right here look like they had that shit together, honey. Money on point. They going for the Ten of Pentacles, and they was in that King of Pentacles energy. They are not the one to be played with. This, this is not, this is a high vibe in Leo who is not to be played with. This looks like this person made the wrong move, honey. For sure. It's like, well, that's one of them you fucked around and found out. You, you chose wrong. <laughs> you chose wrong, Crosswatcher. Let me knock on this. Crosswatcher chose wrong. Oh, well. Legal. All right, Leo, this is what you got. You might have to take care of some legal matters uh, related to finances. You could receive money from some kind of legal matter too, okay? This could be a good time to handle any legal matters involving money. If you do got anything going on with money, you might be getting some money from a legality or something like that or something going through something unstable. There have been some lots of ups and downs, Leo, with some of y'all's finances. Money is coming in fast, but it might be going out just as quickly. Fast changes regarding money. Um, there could be some sort of unexpected turn with your money. Designer. 
Ooh, okay. You're being called to tune in to your own indiv individuality and express yourself. A career in fashion, art, or some sort of artistic endeavor it could be just for you. Get creative with your finances. Perhaps it's time to discover a new talent, Leo. Some of y'all are very talented and creators and artists don't have to just necessarily be people who pick up a brush or draw or that kind of thing. Writing is creative. Social media is creative. Anything that, where you're having to come up with something, um, you can do this. Networker. See, I just said social media. Some of y'all are going to be on social media or some of y'all might need to work with uh, animals. Get into a spirit animal. If a, if a spirit animal is calling to y'all, uh, work with that. Uh, y'all actually speaking of spirit animal, don't forget the elephant spirit was y'all's thing. Learn from y'all past mistakes. It's certainly looking like y'all have. Y'all have going to learn from this situation with dealing with somebody who treated you like an option and had many options that you didn't know about. But as soon as you found out about it, Leo, you took that information and you hot-tailed your ass out of there. Good for you. That's it. That's all I got for you on I'm the Light. If you the one who did Leo like this, shame on you. You lost a good one, it's looking like. And that's, it is what it is. It is what it is. I got to call it like I see it. You look like you lost a, a good one. Oh, well. And you can keep that third party offer to be somebody's uh, friends with benefits. Look like Leo ain't interested in that shit either. Hmm. Anywho, on that note, y'all have, have a good one. Hit that like, share, and subscribe. Leo, y'all keep doing it, baby. Y'all doing the damn thing. Uh, yeah. Hit that like, share, subscribe. Hit the notification bell. You know when I upload. And until next week, Leo. Bye, baby.